morning we are discussing about the gate questions which comes under electron devices in gate 2013 first we are discussing about the one mark question the first one mark question is this one in ic technology dry oxidation as compared to wet oxidation produces superior quality oxide with a higher growth rate inferior quality oxide with a higher growth rate inferior quality oxide with a lower growth rate or superior quality oxide with a lower growth rate these are the four possible options out of that one one is right so the question is in ic technology dry oxidation as compared to wet oxidation produces the correct answer for this one is d superior quality oxide with a lower growth rate so in ic technology dry oxidation as compared to wet oxidation produces superior quality oxide but with a lower growth rate the reasons for this one will elaborate now actually oxidation is the process of formation of silicon dioxide layer from silicon so obtaining silicon dioxide from silicon is nothing but oxidation majorly oxidation process is produced with the help of thermal oxidation thermal oxidation is most commonly used technique to grow silicon dioxide on silicon and it is usually carried out at a higher temperature range it is from 900 degree centigrade to 1200 degree centigrade that's why only it is at higher temperatures that's why the name is thermal oxidation and this thermal oxidation is of two types one is dry oxidation the other is wet oxidation first we will look at dry oxidation dry oxidation is nothing but we are going with a gas so oxygen gas reacts with silicon to form silicon dioxide oxygen gas reacts with silicon to form silicon dioxide so silicon is solid oxygen is gas and the resultant is silicon dioxide which is also solid properties of dry oxidation characteristics of dry oxidation is dry oxidation exhibits excellent electrical characteristics at the interface where silicon silicon dioxide is going to be joined but it has lower growth rate so the main purpose where this dry oxidation is used is to form thin oxide thin oxide is also called as gate oxide which is the main root cause for the mass capacitor action this thin oxide resides in between channel and gate that's why only it is called as gate oxide which act as dielectric so a mass capacitor forms that is the main root cause for the mass operation next come for wet oxidation in wet oxidation highly purified deionized water or water vapor is used to react with silicon to form silicon dioxide in this case also our aim is to form silicon dioxide from silicon here instead of dry oxygen here highly purified deionized water or water vapor is used that's why it is called wet oxidation here the equation says silicon is solid 2h2o is gas or water vapor and the resultant equation is silicon dioxide along with hydrogen gas wet oxidation characteristics are it has higher growth rate but it has poor electrical characteristics compared to dry oxidation so normally this wet oxidation is used to form thin oxide thin oxide is also called as field oxide which is generally used to isolate the interaction between nearby transistors and also to isolate the interaction between different metal layers in both cases dry as well as wet oxidation silicon is consumed vandra silicon is consumed from the surface of substrate to form silicon dioxide to form silicon dioxide silicon surface is going to be consumed how much of silicon is going to be consumed that is nothing but for every 1 micron of silicon dioxide 0.44 micrometer of silicon is consumed for every 1 micron of silicon dioxide grown 
44 percent of silicon is consumed that is 2.2 times of volume expansion of the consumed layer upon oxidation after oxidation here the volume expansion becomes 2.2 times of original one so the characteristics of wet oxidation is poor electrical characteristics but higher growth rate that is nothing but inferior silicon dioxide whereas dry oxidation has lower growth rate but excellent electrical characteristics so superior gate oxide with lower growth rate the answer is D superior quality oxide with a lower growth rate here quality implies nothing but electrical characteristics so superior electrical characteristics are possible with dry oxidation and inferior quality oxide compared to dry oxidation possible in wet oxidation the correct answer is D superior quality oxide with lower growth rate thank you